The Qatar National Museum is a museum in the Qatari capital of Doha. It is due to be replaced by the National Museum of Qatar, which is being constructed on the same site, by December 2018. Topic history and design Upon Khalifa bin Hamid al Thani's accession to the throne in 1972, he drew up plans for a national museum in order to document the country's heritage and traditions. That year, he contracted Michael Rice and Company to design the structural and functional aspects of the museum. It was decided that the building would enclose Fariq al Salata Palace, a dilapidated early 20th century palace previously occupied by Qatar's former emir, Abdullah bin Jassim al Thani. A lagoon was also created to provide a venue for showcasing traditional dhows and pearling equipment. The museum was inaugurated on the 23rd of June 1975. Originally, its facilities included a 100-seat auditorium and a library. In 1980, the museum was awarded the Aga Khan Award for Architecture. The royal palace which the museum was built around was refurbished in 2015 in preparation for the opening of the new museum. Topic Collection. Since its inauguration, the museum has contained materials related which signify Qatar's cultural heritage, such as Bedouin ethnographic materials, maritime artifacts, and environmental items. Ancient artifacts, most of which are locally derived, are also housed in the museum. Topic Archaeological artifacts. British archaeologist Beatrice de Cardi and her team were commissioned to undertake expeditions in Qatar from November 1973 to January 1974 in order to collect artifacts to display in the museum. Their most significant discoveries were at the site of Al Da'asa, which contained numerous Ubaid potsherds dating to the Neolithic period. Artifacts from the earlier Danish expeditions launched throughout the 1950s and 1960s were also put on display. The museum's antiquities department had an active role in surveys and excavations after Descartes' expedition ended. They excavated the archaeological sites of Al Wusail and Zubara. Topic: <laughs> Ethnographic materials. Materials documenting Bedouin ethnography range widely in theme. Certain objects on display were historically used as tools and weapons by the Bedouin, whereas others are products such as jewelry, pottery and costumes. Traditional poems are featured in the museum, most notable are works composed by Qatari ibn al Fuja'a and former Emir Jassim bin Muhammad al Thani. In 2015, Sheikh Mubarak bin Saif al Thani presented the first written draft of the anthem to the Qatar National Museum to be put on display. It was originally scheduled to be moved to the new museum upon its completion. <laughs> 